Yeah, what's going on guys? It's me, Monty, and we continue our free-to-play uh, series with my free-to-play account. Uh, in the last episode, I showed you a Bruiser deck that you can win most most of your games, maybe. Uh, don't know the limit of that account in terms of trophies, but today we will be focusing on event games. Uh, as you can see, I have 8 tickets. I didn't purchase uh, uh, event pass. Um, I have 115 um, event tokens, so maybe I will be buying a Trent or maybe Genie. We'll see about that. And uh, yeah, basically, I want to show you guys how I play events. Uh, I know that events now are very equal. Uh, it doesn't require your equipment, your heroes, etc. So now it's all about that even. Uh, even uh, chances to win, so we will be doing that as well. Uh, eight tickets, four games in leagues, of course. Uh, I think it's about 1000 quid you uh, unlock leagues in even, uh, and of course, it is just much more work to play. So, yeah, let's jump into the game, and I will be showing you my way to uh, play events. Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in Rush Real Market you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MONKEY whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Alright, and we are in the first game. Uh, out of these three, I would choose Monk, mostly. Monk or Bruiser, whatever you are fine with. Uh, I would choose Bruiser here. Um, uh, Monk, of course. And that's a tough choice, because either I choose Halley and secure my intersection or Sword and boost my damage. I think I will go with Sword in just a little bit risky, hopefully it will not bite me. Uh, here I would take, of course, Dryad. You can take Scrapper as well. Um, Protal Keeper is awesome with Monk in events. And here I think either it's Trapper or Mime. Mime is a safe option. Do not get stuck. Trapper is more damage, so I will go with risky stuff. And Hero, I think it's Mermaid. Like out of these three, if it was J, I would choose J, of course. And for equipment, uh, Spear, I would put a Magic, Amulet, and. Oh, they didn't change my talents. I talk too much. Hopefully I get blessing. Oh, I, I will get a magic sword. I will not get the buff. Oh no 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 no! I might lose this one. Sorry guys, it's it's my mistake. Sorry. Let's summon unit and see. It's a blessing, uh, but it's ancient magic. Fairy of rage. That's okay. But maybe I will be lucky and my opponent just disconnected. Come on! Come on! Run faster! <laughs> Come on! Don't punish me for my mistakes! Let's go! Alright! Never punish! Never punish! Always lucky! Lucky that the YouTuber luck uh, hit me! Alright! Alright! So let's jump into the second game! And we are in the second game! Um, out of these three, I think uh, the option is obvious. Uh, it's part. Um, next, I would. Lay sword, in my opinion. You can play Priestess for mana. Maybe nice touch you for some damage, but I would choose sword. And here, what I would choose? Mm, maybe scrapper. Yeah, I think scrapper for some metrons. I don't know if I'm gonna get a dryad later on. Uh, here it's Harlequin, of course. And summoner seems reasonable. Yeah, I think so. And here, I think Jay is just the best option in my opinion. Uh, there's no better one. Um, Alright, so equipment is fine. Uh, I would play Accordionist, I guess. Yeah, Accordionist, Awakening, Scrap them all. And Stage Objective and Multiple Summoning is good. So I will be doing that. Alright, what we play against, it's also Bard, but with Priestess, not with Swords. <clears throat> Right, so here when I play J, I have to look for my tiles. I have, I think, double tile here. It's a J tile and amulet tile. So I will be doing that. 
ASAP basically will try to build my board uh, with summoners by copying them basically mm -hmm. all right how do we do that let's merge this and this and let's merge our swords let's merge our uh, summoners and now we have scrap right here too hmm. all right let's merge this let's merge this let's merge this right so we have already two tier threes uh, i would be happy if i could get bard or holly here too because now i can just copy that and build my board again um, basically okay let's do that let's do oh two enchanted blue swords that's very nice oh only one stuck on this one Dudley. all right i would do that all right we got tier five part uh i'm still trying to just make the best out of this board hopefully ah that sword stinks really stinks Let's merge that. What else can I do here? Like that. Like that. Uh, let's do it like that. And now I think I will just scrap away. Yeah. Okay, that's not it. Uh, I will try to get some inspiration stacks. You need 75 for the second accordionist. Oh, but you have to be careful with that with just because you, you, when, whenever you are in the inspiration mode, in the music mode, you are not attacking your monster, so you have to be careful with that. Uh, that's why Jay comes in handy, because you all, always can deal damage to uh, the monsters with your ability. Uh, and yeah, just slowly run towards 75 stacks. Uh, my merge ranks are high enough, now I can uh, instantly get two tier 5s. Two tier fives, uh, bards, accordionists. As you can see, I can merge these two whenever I get 75 stacks, and then when it's tier four, I can merge it here. I will show you that in a second whenever I have 75 stacks. Uh, but yeah, bard is very chill to play in my opinion. You don't have to stress that much. Uh, the most important part is your merge ranks, of course, and uh, sword stacks in my opinion. Uh, the more sword stacks. Uh, the better, of course. Pretty simple. Uh, I'm playing against Trickster. He's playing uh, Chainmail, Sword, my surprise, and Amulet of Swiftness. Okay, okay, okay. And we get the uh, 75 stacks. And now I merge these two. So now this one is Accordionist. And I can merge it with another Bard. So I get two tier 5s. And now I will be trying to get some some sword stacks but it seems like i will not be getting a lot of them uh, da, 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 da. okay maybe here i've got two of them here that's good okay oh it's a scrapper now i can eat this sword nice Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Two stacks on this one. And now we can go for some more stacks uh, until 150. We can use J ability to make sure to kill it. As you can see, he didn't use it because he was playing Trickster. Uh, so that just saved me from being hit. And of course, the more accordionist you get, the more damage you will deal. Uh, but you have to be careful with that inspiration thing because it can bite you. Uh, if you cannot control your wave, of course. Uh, let's eat this. Uh, I was hoping for some sword, uh, but that's okay. As you can see, I'm dealing way more damage to, than him just because I'm playing Jay and he is playing Trickster. Uh, you can use it, uh, this uh, Jay talent, uh, Jay ability on monsters as well because uh, it will be active. It should be active on, on the boss. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, Maybe I'm wrong. 
do some swords, do some more stacks. Hopefully I will be able to get 150 in the next wave. Maybe after I kill Gorgon. And see, now he is going to deal with Gorgon and I can just run my mana for inspiration. So as you can see, I'm already at 150 stacks. I will just run it as much as I can. Uh, he might be able to kill it. And uh, that's okay with us, of course. Uh, we have another tier 5, which is awesome. Uh, okay. So let's do that now. Oh, I was hoping for another tier 5, but that's okay as well. Let's do some swords. Alright, we have already we are already at armored monsters and, and, and two bosses, so that's alright. Let's merge that, merge that, merge that, get some sword stacks, but as you can see I already won that. Uh, I'll show you uh, the damage dealt. It's 60 million, not that much, but I'll take it and uh, let's jump into the third game. And as you can see, we are in the third game. I'll choose again Monk. Um, okay, Priestess uh, seems alright for the mana source. Um, here, oh, that's a tough choice. All of them are really good with Monk, but I think I have to go for Mer uh, for Dryad, it's the safest option. Hopefully I will not run out of damage because of that. Um, here, yeah, Portal Keeper is a must in my opinion. And yeah, all of them are useless, but Stacy seems the most and uh, the most reasonable. Uh, Jay, hopefully uh, negative effects will not mess me up. And uh, that's all right. I think like that. Okay, let's that. Let's do that. Let's do carry your growth. All right, and that's the equipment. Uh, pretty standard. All right. It's a mirror match, basically. Do we have any double tile? I think we should, yeah, here. It's really good. I already have Monk on this tile. Uh, let's move our Portal Keeper to make an intersection ASAP. All right, going good so far. Going good so far. Let's just not jinx it. Right, alright, and we got our intersection already on double tile, which is awesome. Um, and now, Blessing Monk works pretty much if you have intersection, the, the monk will, will be different from others. So whenever you merge your monks outside of that intersection, uh, this one will receive stacks. And you want to upgrade this one as much as you can. Uh, I know that most of you already know that maybe there are some people who doesn't know that so I'm trying to explain them that to them as well uh, so stay uh, stay with me uh, my opponent is uh, okay he already built the intersection weirdly enough he built it on the tier one uh, but that is just good for me for now let's see uh, he is playing with sword again, sword and amulet of swiftness. Very weird for monk. Um, but yeah, we will see. Let's do that and do that and merge that. Perfect. And we have tier five monk. And uh, we don't have to use even ability. It's wave one. I already have tier five monk, which which is awesome. Uh, let's continue building our board. Hopefully, I will not lack damage uh, against this guy. Um, I don't think so, he's also playing Blessing, he doesn't have Intersection Monk uh, at higher merge rank. Uh, so yeah, we'll try to continue doing that. Let's merge that, merge our Priestess on the on the JTL. I would prefer have it higher tier just for the JProx. Uh, let's merge these Monks, merge these Priestesses. I was hoping for that, that is fine as well. Are we stuck? No, we are not. Okay. So now I will make a risky play. I will give this Dryad to this Priestess, then merge it with this, and hopefully I will get Dryad tier 5. 
that's the plan uh, i have 20 percent to do that and see it's a monk tier 5 but it's on the j tile so i can't really complain about it uh, okay let's give tier 1 dryads to my monks on in the intersection just to not lose it and uh, to some fire uh, the, the blazing barons or whatever as you can see i still don't have to use ability and he will get turned so it's basically gg for me uh he won't be able to um make the intersection again i think not in time definitely so let's see Mm -mm. Let's give this triad to unlock ourselves with portal keepers. I got tier for triad. Doesn't give me anything really. But I think it's GG. Come on. First hit. And third hit. Perfect. Alright, another victory. I think it was the third one. Uh, maybe fourth one. I don't quite remember now. Uh, but yeah. Alright, we have one more game to play. Uh, the final one uh, today. Uh, and we have Genie. Genie is awesome in my opinion for event games. Uh, ooh, that's, that's just not good for Genie. <laughs> Any of them. Uh, I think I will go with Hex. Yeah, I think I will go with Hex, uh, but none of them are good. Uh, Dread is good with Genie, of course. Um, here, oh my god, these cards are terrible. Um, Stasis, I guess. And Sounder is good. And man, these are not great in my opinion. Um, I would play Snowflake with Genie. Uh, you can play J as well, uh, but I would just, just prefer. And Snowflake, uh, you play with, with, uh, sorry, just make the final adjustments. You play with stuff, Genie, of course. All right, uh, we play against uh, Weird Deck, <laughs> Demon Hunter and Genie. All right, so let's try to make this work. All right, we got two genies. Luckily, the first two merges on our tiles. Um, so we will be playing around that. Hopefully. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Jinny's ability is pretty useful uh, with dealing with the bosses, of course, with the fists. Uh, so I'll be trying to do that as much as I can uh, in this event game. Hopefully, 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 I can keep my Jinny's activated without, without having Harlequin. But he doesn't have them either. He is playing more for Demon Hunter, I'm guessing. Uh, but in my opinion, Demon Hunter is not that great in event games. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, maybe it works well for someone else. Let's make our second genie on amulet tier 4. And then we will be trying to focus more on a uh, keeping the genies activated. Ah, that's, that's just not good. Alright. Maybe, just maybe, it will be our first lose in this event in this video hopefully not we'll see about that if i can keep my genies activated i shouldn't be having any problems with that uh, so yeah let's see seven stacks it's good it's good going all good but unfortunately i don't have any damage amplifiers um only hex <laughs> but hex is not really good Alright, another genie activated. 8 stacks now. Not that great, of course. 10 stacks with this one. Uh, I think I have to do this for now. Let's merge it out. Uh, give me genie, please. Oh, hex. I mean, hex near the this one will maybe give something. Not sure. Uh, but yeah. He has 14 Demon Hunters on the second wave. He should be lacking damage if he doesn't build to 20 ASAP. 
And then he should be lacking some damage. Hopefully for me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm stuck. Alright, got the activation. I will have 19 stacks after this one disappears. 21, 22. That's really good. Let's save our mana for after the boss just to activate our genius because that's the most important part. And press it on the boss. He has 17 uh, demon hunters. Alright. Okay, what do we do now? Let's move the stasis out of here. Okay, give me genie. Genie, 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 genie. Where's my genies? Alright, 25. It's activated. Nice. I should clear it now. Uh, as you can see, uh, he got 20 demon hunters, so he should be able to deal with them. Uh, it's hardly for me. Uh, but yeah, we have to just think of the ways to win this. Alright, activate the genies. 26 stacks, 27 after this one disappears. We still have our fist uh, ability and uh, snowflake for the bosses. Let's use this. You didn't help me. Okay. I have to activate my genies. Alright, they are activated. Nice. Nice. Just in time. Alright, and we use ability and we use a snowflake on the boss just to not get merged. He will be getting merged. Uh, it's only portal keeper for now. But he should get merged. If one of his demon hunters get merged, uh, I think it's a GG for him, as you can see. Oh, it's another portal keeper merge. Alright, maybe one more? Give me one more. Grandmaster, come on. Alright, he got merged uh, with another portal keeper. He disconnected uh, for some reasons. Uh, don't ask me. I don't know that. I don't know the reason. Uh, but I need my genies to be active. Nice. 33 stacks. I think it's just a done deal for him for now. Uh, don't think he can win that anyway. But I will play it out anyway. Yeah, I think he's dead on this wave. So as you can see, it's four wins in a row with uh, even games. With just some knowledge, with just some experience, you can even grind your events uh, pretty much easily, easily, very easily. It's nothing complicated and yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video, how I played my event games on my free to play account. Uh, like, subscribe, comment down below and yeah, see you guys in the next free to play video. Hey there, thanks for watching and if you like the video, please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.